Well, it's almost Independence Day, and that means it's time for the EQT Three Rivers Regatta. This year, in addition to the power boats and fireworks, visitors will have the opportunity to leave their mark on Point State Park by creating a 120-foot mural celebrating our region's environmental transformation. Michael Donjeli is Senior Vice President of ISM USA, the manager of the regatta, and Kyle Holbrook is the founder of MLK Murals, which is creating the art project in Point State Park. And welcome, good to see both of you. Thanks for having me, Bill. Appreciate it. Yeah, another exciting year. A lot of cool stuff on it. Two fireworks displays this year. Yeah, two fireworks shows. Real excited about it. You know, the the uh, EQT Flashes of Freedom Fireworks Fantasia that happens on July 4th has really morphed into one of the largest uh, fireworks shows in the country, and uh, and. Pittsburgh supports a lot of that with the spectatorship that we get, obviously. At, at that time, the crowds will swell to almost 400,000 people just wow. for that day alone, you know. But we're excited about a show that we have on July 3rd, uh, which is actually more of a close, what they call a close proximity fireworks show. We shot off the top of the Wyndham Grand Hotel. Oh, my. Okay. So uh, uh, spectators can come, you know, as close as the front lawn of Point State Park and, and watch it and see it. It's a much more intimate experience. Was well, it kind of rain down off the side yeah, of the hotel, it'll be a, or is it up on the roof? Yeah, it's it's up on the roof, so that the shells that actually go up in the air don't go up as high as they do on the 4th. Okay. But what people will see that will be different are cascading, or what they call water fault type effects coming down off the roof and and also chasers going across left to right on the on the roof itself so very cool. should be pretty pretty interesting all done by what homegrown zambelli out of newcastle yeah, one right? of the first family of fireworks absolutely zambelli will, uh, will be uh, doing uh, both shows this yeah year. so yeah. that that's really cool kyle you're doing a little art in the uh, art in the park yes, and yes, as part of the regatta what's this mural all about what's well, the regatta and viral mural it's it's presented by imaginepittsburgh.com and it's really exciting i mean this 120 foot canvas is going to be on on a fence and uh, kids families are going to have the opportunity to, to come and paint they're going to get a, a section a six by six section to paint and th they they paint it and then it will be attached to the wall and each day people will see more and more of the mural completed and by the time the fireworks will be one completed mural that 2400 participants help to make 2400 of these squares covering 120 feet yes, the whole yes. three rivers really so it's cool. almost a mosaic um, but it'll be done in paint, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, oh, that really is, and that's not the only children's activity, right? You got a beach down there. Oh yeah, we got a beach. <laughs> I mean, we've got we've got over 200 tons of sand in the park. 160 of it going for the sand sculpture for Sensational, who's actually been in town for a couple of weeks putting that all together, and then uh, and then we're one of only two uh, cities, inner cities, to uh, create. Uh, a beach area, inner city beach area. The others in uh, along the uh, Seine River in, in Paris, France. So, 50 tons of sand go down along the Allegheny River steps, and we create a nice uh, beach effect for uh, for those that can't get to the beach during the summer. You know, this is your opportunity to experience it firsthand. And then, of course, a complete kids zone where they can actually experience what Kyle's doing, uh, along with a lot of other activities, inflatables and caricature artists and things of that sort. Very cool. What do you do with all that sand when you're done with it? Ah, it's a great story. You know, the sand itself actually comes from Beaver County here, so it's all homegrown, if you will. And then afterwards, uh, when the uh, sculpture is taken down, it all gets repurposed. It goes back into state parks to uh, refresh the uh, sand and beach areas in state parks. Re really, really cool. And how many people do you think are going to you're going to draw for? You mentioned 400,000 or so for the fireworks, yeah. but I think every day you got families and everybody else. Oh yeah, absolutely. Power boats and all the rest. Absolutely. Of it. I mean, you know, the average for the regatta is anywhere from a half a million to 600,000 people, and if wow. if the weather uh, uh, is maintained, you know, we'll, we'll we'll get every bit of that. Well, the early forecast looks pretty good, at least as far as temperatures are concerned. So <laughs> It ought to be Absolutely. delightful down there. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people, so how do you manage if only 2,600 of them get a chance to paint a square? <laughs> well, I mean, we anticipate it being, you know, mostly kids and, and families will want to do it together. And they come up and people will register and they will get a number that correlates with the design. We'll have the design scaled off. So w once they get their number, they'll be given a time to come back and everybody will have 15 minutes to do their individual square. And there's okay. a little room for interpretation because the square will have will correlate with the design but say if it's green and blue they might be able to sneak their name and they're small and the exciting thing about it is that we're partnering with CMU the design center there and they have this gigapan technology where people are going to actually be able to zoom in at the end and go on imaginepittsburgh.com on the website and see their square and and tell people about it and share it with others remember what they did at the regatta it's the Enviro mural so all the imagery is about the environment in Pittsburgh and um, you know the, the water and things that are regarded. A really big part of the yes. theme and you mentioned being careful stewards of the sand. You've got a beautifully yes. restored park down there. I guess it's a it's a wonderful way to celebrate the environmental transformation. Oh it really is. I mean this will be the first time actually in, in six years that we'll actually have the entire park open for the event. 
uh, with the fountain working and everything else. So we're, we're pretty excited about being in the, all in the park here this year. Well, that's really yeah. cool. Well, I know you mentioned ImaginePittsburgh.com. As everybody knows, it's actually an initiative of the Allegheny Conference, which co-produces this show. And I know, Kyle, you volunteered to be an official ImaginePittsburgh.com yes, neighbor. Yes. So we have your official <laughs> I'm a Neighbor t-shirt you yes. can wear it during the regatta. And, Michael, so you won't feel uh, oh, left out that. as a genuine Pittsburgher. You can have your <laughs> very own ImaginePittsburgh.com t-shirt so to Bill. enjoy. I appreciate that. Yeah, Hopefully the weather won't be so hot that you'll feel like you need it. You can come <laughs> dressed. You can enjoy. You can have fun. People need more information about what's ahead, the schedule and all that. Where do they find it? Yeah, all up on the website at threeriversregatta.net. Everything you need to know about the regatta is all there. Very good. Threeriversregatta.net. Michael Dungilly, thank you so much from ISM USA. And Kyle Holbrook, enjoy. Thanks. We'll be down Thanks to so paint a little bit. That sounds fun. Thanks so much, Bill. Yeah. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.